Hello everyone, I'm Tony. And I am video editor. And we are both full-time employees here at the Drum Center of Portsmouth, the biggest and best independent drum store in the world. All the drums and cymbals you're gonna see in this video are for sale, and you can purchase them by clicking on the links which are included in the description below. Today we're taking a look at shallow depth snare drums and one thing I really like about shallower depth snare drums is the fact that they respond so quickly. You can kind of equate it to a shallower depth kick drum. If you take a 22 inch bass drum that's 14 inches deep, compare it to one that's 20 inches deep, the air moves so much faster that it actually sounds louder and punchier on the shallower depth and you get a more immediate kind of quicker tight low end which I, I find really really fun to play. You know, we give a lot of uh, attention to six and a half inch deep drums, seven, eight inches, but I really am excited to uh, dig into the shallower side of things. And today we picked out 10 snare drums. Each one is from a different manufacturer and they're all pretty different. Uh, different materials, different rims, different throw offs, different snare wires, all at different price points. So this is going to be a, a pretty interesting video, I think. Yeah, I think so. As for the tuning, I wanted to keep it all in the mid-range side of things, and mainly because I feel like that's where you hear the most character in a drum. Later in the video, during the head-to-head, -head, I decided to tune them all exactly the same so you can hear just how different each drum is tuned exactly the same. And you can find those TuneBot settings where? In the description below. How handy. And it's worth noting that when we recorded this video yesterday, it was about 90 degrees up here with 100% humidity. We don't have AC, so kudos to you, Tony. Yeah, and apologies in advance for the evolving amounts of sweat you will probably see on my shirt. Literally melting, it was, uh, it was pretty awful. Yeah. But the drums sounded great. I sure did. Before we get started, why not subscribe to our channel? We're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers because then we get one of those little YouTube plaques, and uh, I figure at that point there's really nowhere else left to go, so I could retire and, and do what I really want to do. And what could that possibly be? I figured I'd start one of those cat cafes. Have you heard of those? It sounds extremely creepy, so uh, care to elaborate? No, no, it's great. It's like a regular cafe, except you have cats running around, so when you have your coffee, oh. you could pet a cat if you want. See, I thought you meant you were going to be cooking cats for food at a cafe. No, 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 no.
Sounds even better when it falls out of tune. The drum set we're using in this video is the Tama Star Classic Maple. And this is a new finish for 2022. And what would you call this finish, Tony? I've been calling it divisive marine swirl because it seems to be a very polarizing finish. I like it. I think Shane said he liked it. This guy, not so much. Yeah, you know, they sound great. And uh, this is the nicest I can put it. Fair enough. Symbols uh, are symbols that I'm actually considering purchasing myself, so I wanted to mess around with them a bit. The 2002 Peisty Big Beat, that's a 20 multi crash and ride symbol. And then over here, some of my favorite hi hats, Signature Dark Energy 15s, which are smoky and articulate and all the good stuff. Also, some of my favorite hi hats. After listening to those, which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? Which one did we leave out? We always leave something out and you always let us know, so definitely do that. I really enjoyed playing all of these. The couple that stood out to me, playing-wise and the way they felt, I really enjoyed the Noble and Cooley and the Stanton Moore Spirit of New Orleans drum. But honestly though, I mean, they're all good. The Gergo is super awesome and punchy. The, I, mean, I can't really pick one. They're all awesome. So again, all the links for those drums are gonna be in the description below. We wanna thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.